welcome back to the channel. We're back at work and things are going swimmingly, so I figured I'd uh, bring you through another day. My day usually starts with back pain because my bed is terrible. I think I get a new one on Thursday, thank God. Of course, the dogs get my undivided attention first thing in the morning. Then I get some water in because I just desiccate overnight. If you don't know what desiccate means, look it up and you'll understand why. And then I try to get a sweat in. Now, I haven't figured out my normal routine yet. I've just been here at this job for like two weeks, so I'm still working that out. But I try to get a sweat in every day, so I hop on the treadmill for 20 to 30 minutes. Today was 25 minutes because I'm running behind because I want to do this for you guys. Now, after I do cardio, I still sweat for a long time, so after that, I pack my bag and I have some breakfast before I go take a shower and leave. Breakfast today, and I've already eaten some of it, is four eggs and a piece of multigrain toast. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Mike, you're a doctor. You can't eat eggs, they have cholesterol in them. Here's the beauty of being a doctor, or more accurately, a good doctor. I can look at my health, and I can know that it's different from somebody else's health. But I actually have low cholesterol. I've never had my cholesterol levels, total cholesterol, be over 100. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some cholesterol, because I need cholesterol to live, like, just like you do. Cholesterol is important, among many other things, for hormones and for cell wall integrity. So, yeah, I need that. All right, I gotta finish breakfast, I gotta shower, and then I gotta go, because I'm running late. What should I wear? God, if only I had some clothes that were appropriate for work. Yeah, that's work. I feel ya. Both of you. Now, Kyria has a car this morning, and I'll get to that a little bit later, but that means I get to Uber to work, and what happens when there are no Ubers? You need a lift. And what happens when there is one lift? You pray. Here I am, kinda late. Not very late, but kinda late nonetheless. Waiting for my lift. I don't know how I made it through the morning without anybody being super late. And by anybody, I mean me, but <laughs> nobody got delayed. My staff's really good, so they room patients very quickly. And we get all their stuff done in a reasonable amount of time. So yeah, it's like 12.30, seen all my patients for the morning. Problem is now, because I've seen so many patients so quickly, now I have to catch up on notes. I've done a few, because I usually pre-chart some of my patients so I know kind of what we're gonna do beforehand. I only have two left though, two notes left, and then I see all my afternoon patients. And I've kind of started some of these patients because some of them are complicated than the others. But now I get to shovel the rest of my lunch in and finish my notes before I have to go start seeing new patients again in about a half an hour. Today has been a remarkably hungry day, I don't know why. I'm almost finished with my lunch, it's just chicken thighs and uh, potatoes. But I have a layer bar and then these seaweeds, and I hope it keeps me. Uh, if not, I'm gonna just go drink a ton of water and a bunch of coffee and hope for the best. Back to notes. First one's done, second one. Wasn't that fun? God, I love notes. I really do think that one of the key, I don't know, one of the key characteristics of a, of a good doctor is performance and not like, pretending that you care about somebody or something, but reading the room. You know, I had a bunch of patients today that were all different and had different needs and different wants and, you know, different sources of anxiety and all sorts of stuff. And it's important to notice those sorts of things and be there for the patients early in the encounter and develop that and get a bigger bond with your patients. And, you know, if, you, if you're a doctor that doesn't have that, you know, there are plenty of medical specialties for that, but if you don't have that and you want to deal with people, then you're gonna have a rough time, so. Develop your performing arts, as it were. So we only have one car, and Kira had to pick me up, but she's at Whole Foods now, but a little bit of a story. First of all, we only have the one car because when we were in Chicago, our parking structure charged $250 a month per parking spot, and we had two cars, so we sold both of them, bought a used car, and uh, now we have the one car and we work in two different places. And neither of us could walk to our work, so that's been fun, but that's why we have the one car. The more important part of the story is today. So over the past couple of days, we have fostered a GSP, or German short-haired pointer, named Bandit, and today he found his forever home. So we only got him for a couple of days. 
He was lovely, but Kyrie needed the car to drive him to his forever home about an hour away, and I had to Uber to work, and she is now picking me up. But she's in Whole Foods getting some stuff while I finish up some work in the car. Overall, not a bad day. I will say it was a busy day, getting there a little bit late, and you know, being very efficient with my work. And usually I get some time to stop and you know kind of unwind just a little bit and take a take a brief mental break didn't get that today so i'm very much looking forward to after finishing my work for the day kind of shutting my brain off and just kind of chilling tomorrow is my administrative day which means i will be at home all day or at least when i'm not in the gym to do work from home and look at lab results and message some patients back, maybe call a few of them if they need to be called. Lots of home stuff. Still working, but I'll be able to be at home with the family and the pups and all that good stuff. It does feel weird having a dog for like two days, getting close to him and then just kind of, all right, bye. I think Kira got a lot closer to him than I did, but speak of the devil. All right. We gotta get out of here. See you in the next video.